Okay, so let's talk Goblin Slayer, man. And, you know, I got to just start off this video by saying I didn't expect it. I didn't think this was actually going to happen. I absolutely positively did not expect Goblin Slayer to get a season two confirmed at the end of this episode, let alone get one anyways. Because of Studio White Fox. Think about this. Studio White Fox, you had a show known as ReZero that was one of the biggest shows to come out in years, you know, outside of maybe like a race and some other anime, a very few on that list. And it still has not got confirmed for season two, given it's made so much damn money. I, no one sees how Studio White Fox wouldn't want to make a season two because it made it a lot. I think Rim made over like $3 million alone just on merchandise sales. So they're banking in from merchandise, which is a, a rarity, and they're banking in from the deep Blu-ray disc because they actually broke better than even. <laughs> they broke in the positive on that, which is rare too. And they still haven't confirmed the season two yet, but they keep making these OVAs, so on and so forth. But Goblin Slayer, they come out and say, Goblin Slayer will return. I, guys, I've seen Studio White Fox make about two sequels. Like, I mean, I need to go back down to, you know, down the list and look at it and make sure I'm, I'm not off the wall here. But I know Studio White Fox. I mean, they made Steins Gate, that got a sequel, and outside of that, I don't even know for sure what the other sequel, you know, would be that they have made. They just don't really do sequels, so I'm very impressed with what's going on here. Maybe Goblin Slayer is just doing outrageously good in Japan. I don't have the details in your, you know, and or info on that. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, hopping into the actual episode, you know, and I am sick, so bear with me. But, uh, hopping into the actual episode of Goblin Slayer, if that ending just felt so damn good... I don't know what it was, you know, that battle against the, uh, the Lord, Goblin Lord, it felt like it was his final boss, his final demon, I was thinking that during the fight, and we see that he is going to become an adventurer, he's like, I'm not, you know, my, my idea is not totally clear, but it's clearer, and I think I'm going to become an adventurer, he's going to try to go down the path and be the hero that he wanted to be, and that's cool, and I promise you, Goblin Slayer the Adventurer will be far better than Gar you know, Goblin Slayer the Goblin Slayer. I will promise you that. More diverse monsters, you know, different techniques of fighting. You're gonna get character development from him, you know, in, in the sense that he's gonna learn how to fight differently. So his character is going to de develop mentally in terms of like battle, not just straight up, you know, and getting over the hump, I'm getting over the past necessarily. I'm sure more of that's still to come as his mind is more clear and clear and clear. But it, we're going to see a lot of different things with Goblin Slayer. And it's going to be cool to see him have to learn maybe from other people. It's going to be, you know, it's see, cool to see him learn on the fly. And, you know, this, this is them talking about the gods can't control him. The gods can't roll, you know, his die because he will not allow it to be rolled. That's something that's really damn cool. And it makes you say, damn. No one knows what's really going to happen with this guy. So that's really cool. We did get to see some of the heroes at the end of, end of the episode, which those girls just look like the most unheroic people in the world. You would not think they're strong, like, at all. Like, they're so damn young. How are they so strong? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are they so strong? They're so damn young. I don't I, I, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. These girls are, like, 14 and they're saving the world and shit. No. Actually, that one girl is probably about 17, 18. But still, how are they, how are they that strong? So, <laughs> um, the, the Lord, the Goblin Lord, I love just... <clears throat> A reference they did with that character and the symbolism of, uh, you know, they well they referred back to what our priestess said about is there such thing as a good goblin and that goblin was crying saying I'm sorry I go back to the forest live in peace and that was cool to see because it made her question what she said it made her you know just go back in time and just kind of like whoa you know I did say maybe there's such thing as a good goblin before and maybe she would have let him go. Until Goblin Slayer got up, you know, and obviously intervened. But that's it's cool. It, it, it just added an emotional value to the atmosphere. I thought that was really cool. You know, really cool. It added so much, so much to that scene. I think personally, I don't know if you guys did or not, but I do think it added quite a bit. And the music just added a tremendous amount of value to everything that we saw on scene. So that was absolutely amazing. But um, other than that, though, the fight was good. The him becoming an adventurer, I love it. The music, especially at the end, by the way, the music was damn good. And I'm just looking at my notes, and I think I got everything for the most part. But whenever he says, I'm going to go back to the nest, and Goblin Slayer walks out of the shadow and says, that nest is gone. And it's like, this guy's a badass. I love this guy. And he takes off the helmet at the end, dude. 
Uh, we're just gonna skip to that right away because I want to talk about that. Um, it, maybe we'll see him without the helmet f- for now on. Maybe we'll get to see his eyes. Actually, we get to see him smile, and that's something that's really just damn cool. Gosh, that, that's cool. That ending scene was special. You know, Goblin Slayer is a show that I think has not um, achieved what it needed to do, and or what it kind of teased us with in the beginning, you know, added an atmosphere, added a world that was just, you could see that there could be a lot of hardships. You could see that there could be valuable characters dying, so on and so forth, and just having a very emotional scene, which we never really truly got that, um, and the, you know, because our main cast is still together, it doesn't seem as if the main cast is just going to go out like that, but I do got to say, the show managed to stay in that B grade range, um, I'm not going to sit here and say it's a B plus, I know this last episode was good, I could argue and say it's a B plus, but I just think it didn't have enough oomph, there's like four episodes that were just kind of like, you know, whatever almost, and I want to see Goblin Slayer the Adventure because I think Goblin Slayer the Adventure, after seeing Goblin Slayer the Goblin Slayer, um, I think the Adventure version will be much better. I think it'll, it's going to add so much more depth. It's going to add make this show more diverse because goblins are goblins and there's only so many different types of goblins, right? And it's going to add a lot, a lot of new elements, you know, especially in terms of action. It's an action adventure series. That's huge. You need that. You need a diverse cast of monsters, you know, to be slain, to fight, to fight with, um, or else you're kind of taken away from the adventure, right? For fighting the same thing every damn time. And that was one of Goblin Slayer's kind of issues. And I see what the writer, the writer knows that also, I mean, the writer proves my point about it being an issue because he, He's changing up the style of the show. He's making him become an adventure and actually going to do Slay Goblin. So, but yeah, that, that episode, that second half, of, this whole episode was just, this is a good episode, special episode, man. I ain't saying there's no, you know, Bunny Girl episode 13 and stuff like that. I mean, obviously that show was stronger throughout. I don't think that's really up for debate. It's just stronger throughout the whole show. But this final mark was good. I love how they set it up. I love how Goblin Slayer has gotten development. I think it's really cool that he has that same tone of voice, but the words in which he spews out of his mouth and the actions in which he takes are different. And, you know, I think everyone knows goblins aren't just goblins. Goblins are actually dangerous. They're weak creatures, but their strength belongs within the numbers. So, yeah, I mean, another show I wish I could continue to talk about. I mean, I'm not going to say, like... I wish I could talk about it like, you know, once again, Bunny Girl or something like that. But I definitely want to see. I am pumped up because I want to talk about it more because I want to see Goblin Slayer the Adventure. I'm pumped up. And Studio White Fox, I trust, I guess. They must have saw something that they really like because Studio White Fox doesn't make season twos. And that's exactly what you guys are getting. That's exactly what I am getting as well, which I'm down with it. I'm with it. I'm with it, man. So as always, guys, you guys have been hexed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, X25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.